Hello and welcome to my channel. Please remember to subscribe to turn on your notification bell, leave a like and let us design today. We are talking all things graphic design and today I'm going to be showing you how to design this simple banner in Photoshop and let's get straight right into it. I'm going to create a new document 1080 by 1080 resolution 72 and we are good to go. All right, so I've already cropped my, my image, my subject and if you would like for me to talk about some of the techniques I'll be using in this video, please feel free to leave that in the comment section and I'll consider doing that in our next tutorials. All right, so I have my subject in and I'm just going to resize this. Okay. I'm happy with that. Background color, I'm going to add a solid color to this. And using the color picker, uh, eye, eye dropper tool, I'm just going to pick on what the subject is wearing. Then on this, add a gradient overlay. Set the style to radio. The first color stop lets the color match your background color. No, let it match your background color. Like I said, your second color stop, which should be somewhere in the middle, just let it be a lighter shade of the same green. Then you get that glow effect you're seeing. If I remove this, as you can see, it's just plain. But then you see that hands to pick on a color. Um, so this is how this is working. This is simply the color that I'm picking that is coming in the middle. But like I said, I want a lighter shade of the same green here. Like, so I think I'm happy with that. Going to maintain what I had. Okay, okay. Your angle is 180, radio, good to go. Yeah, the opacity of that was says to 54. Next thing that I want to do is create a duplicate of this. Control J and for this duplicate, I'm just going to make it a little bit more bigger. Like so, take it to the side, hit OK. Set the blending mode to luminosity and drop down the opacity. Just like so. Next thing I want to do is to work on my main image using camera raw filter. So I'm just going to go ahead and filter camera raw filter. What I want is to add a little bit more clarity and sharpen my subject a little bit more. So I'm in basic. Add a little bit of clarity, not so much, maybe just about 17, that's okay. I'm gonna go down to detail, sharpen a little bit, reduce noise a little bit, that should be okay. And of course, this is subjective. You can make it the way that you want to look it. And the point of this tutorial is not for you to duplicate what I'm doing. You can do for, you can do that for practice, but the point is simply getting the principle that you can apply whenever you're doing design. That is basically what this is about. Next thing that I wanna do is to add a glow effect to my main subject. And um, as a matter of fact, before I do that, I think I want to add an adjustment layer and just desaturate my subject a little bit. So I'm going to use vibrance and saturation, create a clipping mask and just remove a little bit of saturation. And blend my subject a little bit using color balance. Then I'm going to add the glow effect after that. OK, so I want a little bit of green in. Of, again, this is affecting everything right now, but I want to affect only my subject. So create a clipping mask. I think I'm actually happy with that. Yeah. So that's your before, that's your after, before and after. Next thing, add a solid color, that shade of yellow. And blending modes hard light convert invert the mask control i to invert the mask so that you hide everything again clipping mask pick a brush to foreground color sets to white 
zoom in, soft round brush, that's what I'm using. And now I can create my lighting effect on the edge of my subject. Flow, opacity, make sure for the brush is all set to 100. And I can go in and create that. And once I am happy with this, I'm going to duplicate it. Clipping mask still, delete this mask and add a mask, a new mask this time. Okay, so while adding odds, create a new mask so that it comes as inverted already. Then I'm just going to add a glow effect. Foreground color sets to white. And I can add my glow effect. Obviously, right now it's very strong. I can control that using a few things, starting with opacity. Just drop it down. But that's your before, that's your after, before and after. The other thing that I want to do is I'll hide this. And what I want to do to this is just use blend if just to make the blending of the a little bit more natural and again like I said if you don't know how to use some of these techniques that I'm using please leave that in the chat and I'll be happy to address them in our upcoming tutorials okay I'm happy with that bring that back that should be okay next thing I want to do is add a new layer Pick a fog brush, use green as my foreground color and just paint over. Just want to paint over the base. That's your before and that's your after. Zoom out. Now I want to go at the bottom and just add my text. And I'll say design. I don't think that's how you spell design. Design. Okay, I'm going to pick on Morganite board and just make it all the way big, even bigger. And once I'm happy with the size, I'm just going to flip it counterclockwise, say OK and reposition it. Maybe just a tiny bit bigger. And duplicate that, control J, move it to your left. Drop your fill all the way to zero. Then on the effect, add a stroke. Color of the stroke, set it to yellow size is three and that's okay. Add a mask, pick a soft round brush and just paint over the edge. Foreground color says to black. Then we get that effect. Now it's just a matter of positioning. And next thing that I want to do is just deal with more text. And of course, the rest of the parts really are super easy to follow. It's just all about text and repositioning your text. So I have my text there, make it smaller. 
increase the okay maybe too big it's actually too small but you keep you resize it until you get what you're looking for really there is no one way about it the goal is to get the principle then using the rectangle tool foreground color set to yellow okay now that's going to change my text so i need to create a new layer so i'll just control z that and do and i'll go right on top of everything create, create a new layer and now with my rectangle to selected foreground color sets to yellow create a, a rectangle and just control t that to bring out the transformation while holding control and shift i'm just going to add a slight slant to that that's okay and then now it's just a matter of more text and i'll just align these two subjects the rectangle and my text so already i can tell that my text is a little bit too small and i'm just going to resize it maybe a 48 add a little bit of spacing and go on with more text creative director happy with that make it white And finally, as you saw on that, on the on the actual banner, there was company Tapali. And just change the font. Open sounds regular. Okay. Twenty-four. I think that should do. And I'm just going to center all of these here. Okay. Just nudge this a little bit. I think that's what I'm actually looking for. And I'm going to take this shape, Control J, and move it, Control T, and Rotate it clockwise and I'll use it to create this. And the final thing is really just more text. You can add the date and just say just a random date. And I will use a different font for this. make everything uppercase, make it bigger, and that should be okay. And I'll just reduce the, the spacing between the, the text. Next thing I want to add is the time. So just say 2 p.m. I'll make that yellow and change the weights to regular. I'll align this later on. So right now I'm okay and just say online. And just drop down the size of that. And what I'm looking for is just to have everything fit well together. Okay, and on second look, I think this needs a little bit of 
spacing. Oh, actually, so it's all subjective, but it's also about alignment and trying to make everything look as good as it possibly can. So that's why I'm doing all of this. Right, so it's just all about alignment at this point. Just come now, I'm just going to center everything together and take this online 2 p.m. and just make sure I have somewhat even space. like so and i'm going to group all of this together control g and i can rename this just say dead and resize it together and there you go we have completed our simple banner design so it's a design master class we have completed the banner and this is how it actually looks like. And you can use some of these principles that we have been using to design in, to apply it in any design that you're working on. Remember, you can use everything I've used, not just to make this, but for whatever work you, you are, you're doing. Please subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like. If there's any technique you would like me to, to tackle in our next tutorial, feel free to put that in the comment section. You can get free quality stock images from Pexels, images like this that I'm using here. You can also get them from Unsplash. You wanna make sure you use those resources. They're quite useful for free quality stock images. And we are out for today.